What do you want to say about that one, man? That was a, a gut check, a hard fought, intestinal four to two kind of win by your team today. It was, you know, it was it was a challenge. Uh, I mean, that was a really good defense, and we knew that they were, and you know, we didn't have a lot of production, but I think we got the production that we needed when we needed it. Um, obviously, Jack Lamb had that big uh, turnover early in the first half, gave us seven, uh, uh, seven points. We also kicked a field goal, but I think in the second half, we just we needed to a 90-yard drive to really take the lead and take a lot of the clock off in, a, in our offense, found a way to, to have some success for that drive, get us seven points, and, you know, that gave us a little bit of a cushion. Uh, Carl, you and I have talked so many times this year about, the, you know, your, your defense and you guys would play well, but you weren't forcing the turnovers. You ended up getting four today, and that was obviously huge in this win. It was huge, you know, obviously big time because – I can't tell you, you know, when we can get chances with the football and that gives us a chance to put some points on the board, you know, we're able to do that. And, you know, like I said, it was tough on the offense. And I think even defensively, you know, I look at the stats, it looks like it uh, wasn't a great performance on their part, but they got some critical turnovers when we needed them to give ourselves a, a chance to win the game, and we finished it with doing it. When you got a senior day like this, you had 14 guys walk out there, but five of them were actual seniors. Uh, the others were juniors that got their degrees. You love to see those guys play well. Mustafa Johnson played well today. Terrence Lang had a big uh, uh, play out there. But Carson Wells, on the final game he's ever going to play here, uh, that's, that's a storybook kind of game for him. Definitely. He, his presence was felt, you know, for the whole game. You know, he was making plays from start to finish. Um, I'm excited about him and his future. You know, I think he's a really good football player. And uh, I'm glad that he was able to play the type of game that he'll remember the rest of his life. Without question. Uh, the, the way this team kind of kind of gutted this thing out, you know, go back to the Oregon State game, what you guys did with there. That's the kind of mentality you're trying to build, aren't you? Where, where even though things maybe aren't going your way, you still find a way to win. That's, that's the bottom line. You know, sometimes football is not pretty. It's not perfectly executed. It's... Uh, taking advantage of situations when you can. You know, offensively, I felt we did that a little bit today. We've, we've still left a lot of football out there. And the same thing on defense. You know, there was a lot of third down conversions that they made, but when we needed to make plays, you know, both sides of the ball did pick up and, and make those plays. You know, great turnovers for the defense. And I think offensively, we, you know, we needed that 90 yard drive to get, to get a good seven point lead. And, and we're able to do that. Well, I know everybody's out there concerned about one of your younger guys. Anything uh, you know about Brendan Rice and that shot he took the knee? Uh, he's okay. You know, he kind of hurt his, his uh, lower leg. We think he'll be fine. He's got a chance to play next week. He just didn't feel comfortable playing the rest of the game today. All right. Congratulations on a win. Now let's go get one in Salt Lake City next week. Thank you.